Hey, you're here. Look, uh, if you're a home winemaker, you're tired of bottling wine because corks, buying corks, soaking corks, squeezing corks into bottles with corking machines and stuff, and you want to find an easier way to do it, and you want to maybe recycle something in the meanwhile, uh, take a look at the bag that's inside of wine boxes. It looks like that. Comes out of a box of wine. It's got this kind of a spout on it, which is not easily removable anymore. Since a lot of manufacturers now make it almost impossible to remove the valve spout from the bag, you'll need a funnel and a hose to slip onto the spout to refill the bag. Hoses suitable for this are likely available at your local hardware store. The 3 8 inch ID number shown here stands for the inside diameter measurement of the hose. That size fits the most common wine bag spout I see here, but results may vary. Take your empty bag to the store if you want to be sure that you're getting the right hose. After you get the hose, drop by your nearest dollar store and get a funnel that the hose will fit. You may have to moisten the hose with water to get it to slide onto the funnel and spout. Small gear clamps are available in hardware stores as well if you need to secure the hose further, but I've never used one myself. Use your funnel and hose to rinse and sanitize the bag, and then you're ready to refill it. You only need about two inches of this hose in the end, so if they sell it by the foot, you're in luck, or maybe if they sell it in bulk, you can uh, sweet talk the hardware guy. Maybe he'll let you snip off two inches. He's not a monster. So the next part is uh, the fun part. It's when you put the elixir that you have made. In my case, it's a three-month-old Montepulciano, so it's got to be good, into your empty bag. I like to store my homemade wine in glass containers, starting with the carboy and ending up with one-gallon jugs. Since I'm using a wine bag that's less than a gallon, I'll need a secondary container to hold the overflow. A regular wine bottle works for this, plus you might have a bit left over for a wine tasting. Once you refill the bag, take a second to gently squeeze out the air. Gently, gently. Another advantage to this is that you can store it in a fairly slim space in your fridge. So, have fun with it, and hey presto, you're reusing something that formerly went in the garbage, so good on you. Hoses that are suitable for this are likely available at your local hardware store, just next door to Shawshank Prison.